For the headline, Southwest Monsoon brings heavy rainfall and potential flooding to southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Local news, the 2024 Miss Cagayan de Oro title claimed by Barangay Bugor representative. Just in, man found riddled with bullets in Talisayan, Misamis Oriental. The provincial government of Misamis Oriental plans to establish a product manufacturing plant. The Higalaay Mega Job Fair was successful. National News The Philippine National Police is highly confident that Kibula remains inside the KOJC compound. International News Problematic Boeing mission set to return to Earth alongside competitor SpaceX. Entertainment The Busan Film Festival will pay tribute to Parasite actor Lee with a posthumous honor. Sports Gawilan and Bantilo will represent the Philippines by carrying the flag at the Paralympics opening. International feature Will German naval ships navigate the Taiwan Strait? National feature Lawyer reports no contact with Alice Go for several days. Trivia Who discovered the Philippines? If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning Philippines, Maganaw Maga Luzon, Nagmayong Adlaw, Visayas, Mindanao. I am Athalia P. Saniel. Weather forecast. Southwest monsoon brings heavy rainfall and potential flooding to southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The southwest monsoon, also known as Sabagat, is currently exerting its influence over the western sections of southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. This weather pattern is characterized by warm and moist air flowing from the southwest, leading to widespread cloud cover scattered to widespread rain showers and thunderstorms across the regions. The heaviest rainfall is expected in coastal and mountainous areas, which could result in significant risks such as flash floods, river swelling, and landslides. Additionally, wind gusts associated with the monsoon may be strong at times, particularly along the coastlines, leading to rough sea conditions. Fishermen and small sea craft operators are strongly advised to avoid venturing into the sea during this period due to potentially dangerous conditions. Urban areas may also experience localized flooding due to prolonged or intense rainfall. The monsoon's impact is expected to persist for several days, so continuous monitoring of weather updates is recommended. Local news. The 2024 Miss Cagayan de Oro title claimed by Barangay Bugor representative. 
The most beautiful candidate from Barangay Bugo won during the coronation night of Miss Cagayan de Oro 2024, held at Limket Kai Atrium, Barangay Lapasan, Cagayan de Oro. Last night, the wit of Miss Bugo candidate Eliza Marie Cordova shone as she was crowned the 59th Queen of the City. The 59th edition of the prestigious pageant concluded with the recognition of Barangay Makabalan candidate Princess Kyle Rufon as first runner-up. The final five included Gabriela Hill Christy Alaba from Barangay Bayabas, Desire Gamolo from Barangay 32, and Jireka Luis Nicole Taal from Barangay Consolacion. Just in, man found riddle with bullets in Talisayan, Misamis Oriental. A man believed to have been executed was discovered dead this morning in Poroc 2, Punta Santiago, Talisayan, Misamis Oriental. The grim discovery has deeply unsettled the local community and heightened concerns about the escalating violence in the area. As residents grapple with implications of such a violent act occurring in their midst. The Talisayan Municipal Police Station has identified the victim as 33-year-old Willie Burai, a married man and a resident of Porok 3, Barangay Tagbokbo, within the same municipality. Initial police investigations reveal that Burai sustained five gunshot wounds, which were the cause of his death. The authorities have been actively working to uncover the motive behind the brutal killing, and to identify the individuals responsible of this crime. At this stage, the police have not yet established any clear leads on possible suspects or a motive, leaving the case shrouded in mystery. The investigation is ongoing, with the law enforcement officials canvassing the area and interviewing potential witnesses to piece together the circumstances surrounding the incident. Musamis Oriental Provincial Government ICE Building a Manufacturing Facility In collaboration with the Department of Trade and Industry, the Food and Drug Administration and a partnering corporation, the Provincial Government of Misamis Oriental is planning to set up a product manufacturing plant. Provincial Administrator John Venice Ladaga mentioned that this initiative is, uh, is one of Governor Peter Onabia's goals to showcase a unique product that will highlight the province's potential and attract additional investments. Ladaga emphasized the ongoing and continuous coordination with the national government to provide essential services to the people. He stated, we are constantly and actively coordinating with the national government to deliver basic services to the public. And one of these plans includes the establishment of a product manufacturing plant in collaboration with the Department of Trade and Industry and the Food and Drug Administration. This project aims to bluster the local economy by creating job opportunities and fostering industrial growth. The Higalai Mega Job Fair was successful. Over 1,300 participants attended the event, highlighting its importance for local job seekers. By 3 p.m., 30 individuals had been hired on the spot, demonstrating the fair success in connecting candidates with job opportunities. Public Employment Service Office Manager Kathleen Kate Sorilla expressed sincere thanks to all agencies, employers, and partners involved. Sorilla remarked the Higalai Job Fair was very successful. We are pleased with the outcome today. Approximately 1,300 attendees participated, with 660 seeking overseas jobs and 550 looking for local employment. This turnout shows the high demand for job opportunities in our community. She noted that the fair was a valuable platform for linking local talent with potential employers, offering a range of industries and positions. The positive feedback from both employers and job seekers reflects the event's effectiveness in meeting the community's employment needs.
international news. The Philippine National Police is highly confident that Kibaloy remains inside the KOJC compound. The Philippine National Police remains optimistic about capturing fugitive Pastor Apollo Kibaloy in the near future, despite facing challenges in their pursuit. This optimism persists even after two failed attempts to serve an arrest warrant to the controversial pastor, whom authorities believe is still hiding within this kingdom of Jesus Christ compound in this devil city. The PNP has intensified their efforts, conducting throughout searches and tightening security around potential escape routes. We are more convinced that than ever that he is there, stated Police Brigadier General Nicolas Torre III, Director of PNP Regional Office 11, during an interview on Teleradio Servicio on Sunday night. We have pinpointed his location, but we are still working on how to breach the compound effectively. The PNP's manhunt has been exhaustive, focusing on the KOJC compound situated near Davos Francisco Bangoy International Airport. International News Problematic Boeing mission set to return to Earth alongside competitor SpaceX. NASA announced on Saturday that two U.S. astronauts who traveled to the International Space Station on Boeing's Starliner will need to stay an additional six months and will return to Earth aboard a SpaceX vehicle, delivering another blow to Boeing's troubled reputation. The return of Barry Butch, Will Moore, and Sunita Suni Williams had already faced delays due to thruster issues with the Boeing spacecraft. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson revealed that they will now return in February with the Starliner returning without a crew. Space flight is in inherently risky, even under the safest and most routine conditions, Nelson stated. He explained that the decision to extend the astronauts stay on the ISS and have the Starliner return without a crew is driven by NASA's commitment to safety and emphasizing our core value is safety. Entertainment The Busan Film Festival will pay tribute to Parasite actor Lee with a post humus honor the busan international film festival recognized as asia's largest film festival will post humusly honor the late south korean actor lee son kyun with a prestigious korea cinema award this year according to the festival's organizers lee son kyun who gained international acclaim for his lead role in bong joon ho's 2019 oscar winning film parasite was tragically found dead in december 2023 following an apparent suicide. His death came after a two-month police investigation into alleged drug use, which not only shocked the entertainment industry, but also ignited widespread concern among the public. The posthumous award aims to acknowledge Lee's significant contributions to Korean cinema and his impact on the global stage, even as the circumstances surrounding his death continue to cast a shadow over his legacy. Sports. Gawilan and Bantilok will represent the Philippines by carrying the flag at the Paralympics opening. Veteran para swimmer Ernie Gawilan and para archer Agustina Bantilok have been chosen to carry the Philippine flag during the opening ceremonies of the 17th Paralympic Games, which will take place on Wednesday in Paris, France. Gawilan, a multi-medalist who has represented the Philippines in numerous international competitions, is considered one of the country's top Paralympians. Meanwhile, Bantilok, a rising star in para-archery, has made significant strides in her sport and is seen as promising contender in the Games. The honor of bearing the flag is a testament to their dedication and achievements in their respective sports as well as their role in inspiring fellow athletes and Filipinos alike. 
The 17th Paralympic Games in Paris marks a significant moment for the athletes as, as they compete on one of the world's biggest stages, representing the resilience and spirit of the Filipino people. International feature. Will German naval ships navigate the Taiwan Strait? As geopolitical tensions over the Taiwan Strait continue to simmer, Berlin has remained cautious and non-committal about whether it will send warships throughout the contested waters as part of the significant naval mission in the Indo-Pacific. This deployment is part of Germany's broader strategy to assert its presence and commitment to freedom of navigation in the region, which has become a focal point of international concern due to China's growing military influence. The Indo-Pacific deployment is a major undertaking by the German Navy, and its most critical phases are set to commence on Sunday, August 25, when the frigate Baden-Württemberg and its supply ship Frankfurt Amman Main depart for South Korea after a five-day stopover in Japan. This mission, which highlights Germany's increasing involvement in Indo-Pacific security matters, aims to strengthen ties with regional allies and underscore Germany's support for a rules-based international order in a region marked by rising tensions. National feature. Lawyer reports no contact with Alice Goh for several days. Lawyer Stephen David, who had been assuring the public until last week that, that this Miss Bamban Tarlac Mayor Alice Goh was still in the Philippines, has now lost all communication with his client. This sudden silence has raised concern, especially as authorities reveal that Goh may have already left the country. Reports from international counterparts in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia suggest that Go has possibly fled the Philippines, though her exact whereabouts remain unknown. The situation has complicated efforts to locate her, adding another layer of difficulty to the legal proceedings she faces. Authorities are now coordinating with foreign agencies to verify these claims and possibly track down Go. The loss of communication has left her legal team in a precarious position and they are urging her to re-establish contact to address the legal challenges she is facing. The case has garnered significant attention due to the serious charges against her and her apparent dis disappearance is likely to fuel further speculation and concern. Trivia, who discovered the Philippines? The Philippines were claimed in the name of Spain in 1521 by Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer sailing under the Spanish flag. Magellan, who was leading an expedition to find a westward route to the Spice Islands, landed in the Philippines and named the archipelago Las Islas Filipinas in honor of King Philip II of Spain. The islands became a vital part of Spain's global empire and over the centuries spanish influence deeply permeated filipino society by the 1830s after more than 300 years of spanish rule the filipinos began to absorb and incorporate spanish culture and ideas the spanish colonial government introduced catholicism which became the dominant religion and established educational institutions that spread European Enlightenment ideas. These developments fostered a growing sense of national identity among Filipinos, which eventually led to the desire for independence from Spanish rule. During the colonial period, the Spanish authorities also made significant efforts to develop the agricultural sector of the Philippines. And that was the information we got from here and abroad. Keep listening and watching. 
and thank you very much for the subscribers and supporters and for the people who followed us on Facebook and subscribed on YouTube. Thank you very much. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community.